Oh, so... is, this, uh, is this our icebreaker yeah. today? The, the so... audio problems. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got three things written here. One, which tools do you use for testing code? Um, feedback. And then number two, can you tell us about the course? So how are you attending? Which, I mean, we're always curious about how many people are actually watching and how many are doing, hmm, what's it called? Like, you know, in a group at one of the partners. And then what would be the ideal of course? Oh, like this, but scheduled Q&A mentoring. You know, actually, we still have time to do that. Um, Sorry, what was that? Q huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a comment here that the audio isn't balanced. Yeah, I mean, let us know what, how do you'd like it to adjust who's louder or quieter, and we can work on it. So, what's today about? Today, oh, are you I answering? I thought you asked me. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm like, sorry. what would you say? <laughs> Yeah, um, my answer would have been testing, but like, yeah, go ahead, <laughs> please continue. Yeah. So I would say it's sort of putting together everything we've learned. So we've learned version control. Okay, that's like one tool. We've learned about some reproducible research and documentation, things like that. But now with automatic testing, we see what I'd say is probably one of the most common things to use among everything we've talked about, except for the version control, perhaps. Mm, yeah, but... Uh, or one of the things which could be used most. Uh, do you mean like used most in, in like, uh, in, in your standard regular everyday workflow yeah something as like that a part of it yeah okay because i was uh i was thinking that the uh, which is which is which is correct because testing is kind of like yeah you have to or you don't have to but like it's it makes your life easier if your if testing is constantly integrated mm -hmm. in your work. Yeah. And the other thing that I was thinking when you were talking about the, what we have seen during the workshop is that the, of course, now things are getting more and more intertwined so that the testing and automatic testing and version control are like really closely intertwined mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because the automatic testing utilizes the the github right yeah uh, this continuous integration yeah. framework so when did you start using testing uh too late <laughs> I'd say same for me. <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, yeah, too late. And also, also I, I still feel that my testing is, uh, is too ad hoc. I don't do it systematically enough. Mm -hmm. But uh, what is your experience? Do you have a more structured? I mean, I'd say my path is probably like yours. I did a lot of scientific programming, very little actual testing until relatively late. And then I started adding, 
you know, not like really big things, but some small stuff that could run. And it really helped a lot. Like the mere fact that I can take something and run one of my codes with standard input data would mean that I could find 90% of my syntax problems are really obviously breaking things is, um, yeah, like it helps a lot and gives me confidence in my work. Yeah. Let's see. So looking back at the icebreakers here. We see well, uh, a lot of people alone, but a fair number in a group. Okay, let's see. So the Q and A. So at least at Alta University, you could say that we have a continuous Q&A. If you look at our support, we have something called the Scientific Computing Garage, which is targeted towards researchers or other staff. And you can basically drop by there any day and ask us questions about applying this kind of stuff to your work. And we're happy to answer. So you could look at it as sort of like continuous mentoring. Like we're not just teaching, but we support everything indefinitely. And that's a that's a really yeah. the Q and Q and A mentoring session is really yeah. good idea because it's uh, um, yeah because all these things really need time and you mm -hmm. need time to like get your hands dirty and then to be able to reflect and discuss and, and yeah. ask for help is is really important so yeah everybody should have the uh, the chance to get mentoring yeah. all the time and in all of this is actually possible because we have we are yeah. there <laughs> And I'll talk that. about, I'll talk more about this at the end of the workshop where we have a little outro where we say where you can go next or read it from the website. It's not updated yet, by the way. I do notice this question, the document's a bit difficult when you have questions that become very long. Remember at the beginning when I said one of the feedbacks at the end will be there is way too much, um, there will be some people will say there's way too many questions and information overload in HackMD. So mm -hmm. I'd say it definitely came through this time. Yeah. Um, and I do like that someone appreciates the videos becoming available. I do a lot of work on those and have always wondered, does anyone even care? Watch, watch them. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's, it's, it's really good that your work is yeah. not going unappreciated. Yeah. There's a question, are any of these initiatives public? Um, so for the most public thing, there's the code refinery chat and we have a help stream there, which we'd welcome anyone to join and ask questions about. At least at Alto, our focus is the Alto community, in particular researchers, not undergraduate students who aren't doing research. Should we begin? Yeah, I think it's time. Yes. So, uh, let's see. So, one of our scheduled presenters is not here. I guess something has come up. But that's okay because we have plenty of other staff to fill in things. So I guess it will be me and Temu discussing. So should I sc share screen? Yeah, you, okay. you go ahead. Let's see. Let's hope it works. Yes, this is a screen. 
So, um, did you grab the screen? Because I can't. See uh, it. yes, but actually, you have to see it from the stream right now. Okay. Um, because of how it works. But I'll I'll set up the other preview soon. Okay, so we are here on day six, software testing. I will open up that lesson. Uh, and someone has added it to HackMD. Yes, 